Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And I'm getting ready to make a um, dish that I've never made before. I'm just kind of putting it together myself. And I'm going to turn it down. It needs to be turned down. It's flashing everywhere. This, I'm making a hot roast beef open face sandwich with mashed potatoes and gravy. So what I'm getting ready to do now, I just put out, I just made a video on how to fix mashed potatoes in the pressure cooker. So now I'm going to actually make the rest of it and I'm using both my New Wave PSC and my New Wave oven for this recipe. So you'll get to see both of them. And what I've done is I've got like two tablespoons of margarine in here. And I'll tell y'all again, I can't stand butter, so I use margarine. And I've got um, about a tablespoon of canola oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a gravy, and I'm going to make a beef gravy. So this, the oil is hot, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put like five tablespoons of flour in here. There's one. There's two. There's three. Maybe just four. Yeah, probably just four. Four tablespoons of flour in here. And just whatever flour you want to use. I'm using all purpose, but you can use whatever you want. And I'm going to get this flour. I'm going to cook this flour for about a minute because you want the taste of the flour to get cooked out. So that's why you have to cook it for a minute and get that taste of the flour out of here. So I'm going to let this turn a little brown and get the taste out. And I've got the water. I know you can see over here right here. I've got the water left from the potatoes and I drained the potatoes and I have a can of beef consomme and I'm going to make the gravy for this open face roast beef sandwich out of the potato water and the beef consomme and so I'm going to go on let this brown up turn a little bit brown and I will bring you back in just in a minute all right I'm back it's gotten a little bit browner and I'm going to slowly pour this beef consomme in here so it'll make the gravy and stir it up real good while you're doing this And then I'm going to add, I'm not going to add all of the um, mashed potato water, but probably about a uh, half a cup. And I'm going to see how that's going to do. So I've got to put this back up on sear and get this to get thicker. And then I've got to taste it and add my salt and pepper to it and all that. But you can, you can see it's already thickening up. So... I'll bring you back as soon as I get it to the consistency that I want and then we'll go from there and we're going to make some delicious open face roast beef sandwiches. Okay, I'm back. Alright, so I've got the gravy made. It's over here. And now I've got um, three ciabatta rolls that I'm just breaking in half and I'm going to put them on my New Wave Oven Pro Plus and toast these for five minutes. So what I do Well, let's make sure I got them on here good first. Well, I have to bring you back. Okay, so I'm back now. I got the top on it. I was getting frustrated and I was getting mad. <laughs> now nah, I might. Alright, so I'm going to do roast these or 
toast these for five minutes. So I'm going to go cook time, five, start. And you'll hear it coming on, and that's going to toast these. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do from there. After that, I've got a couple more things to do, and then we're going to be eating some open face hot roast beef sandwiches with mashed potatoes and gravy. Okay, so I toasted these for five minutes, and now I'm going to put on a slice of provolone cheese. You can use whatever you want. I just have provolone cheese, and I'm going to put one slice on each piece of the ciabatta bread and put it back on there for five minutes. And then I'm going to put the roast beef on there and put it back on there for five minutes. So I'll bring you back when this gets melted and I put the roast beef on there. Okay, this only cooked for about three minutes on here. It's already melted. So I've got these big slices. Let me see if you can see. Big slices of roast beef that I got from the deli at Walmart and I'm gonna fold them and put these on here and then I'm gonna heat these up for five minutes and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna have some sandwiches so I'll bring you back in just in a minute okay so these have finished and I'm now getting ready to fix one and taste it so I'm gonna get one of these off of here and I'm gonna put another stick another stick another slice of provolone cheese up on top of that and then I'm gonna take my ice cream scoop and I'm gonna get out a big old scoop of mashed potatoes and put that on top of that and then over here's the gravy and I'm going to slide this over here, slide my plate over, and I'm going to put some gravy on top of this. And then I have, let me move this so you can see. All right, I'm going to bring you back because i got to take a picture. I'll bring you right back. Okay, so here it is, and I'm going to cut a piece and see what it tastes like see if it's good I've never had one of these before in my life I don't know what it tastes like I've just heard people talk about them an open face sandwich I've never had one before I know you can do this with turkey you can do it with chicken but I'm gonna try it with this roast beef and see what it tastes like Mmm. Mmm. That is amazing. That gravy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. Oh my gosh, I really like this. And this is a meal. It's got your meat, your vegetables, your potatoes. Your cheese, your bread, your gravy, everything in it. So, this is going to be our lunch today. If you like this recipe, hold on, I'm going to take one more bite. I just got to show y'all. Mm -mm -mm. mm. That's amazing. If you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to be a part of my Facebook group, you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash food prepping, one word, F-O-O-D-P-R-E-P-P-I-N-G, and like my page there and comment. Put whatever you want to on there, um, as long as it's not offensive to anyone or whatever. And so I'm going to get up here and go and eat my lunch and fix the kids their lunch, and I'm going to have a good time eating this sandwich. So, you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.